going to show you how to experience the royal wedding magic like never before. I recently teamed up with a royal expert to try out the new augmented reality feature on the ABC News app. Take a look. Can't make it to the royal wedding in the UK? Well, you can bring a piece of the British royalty into your home. We're introducing augmented reality to our ABC News app. And we're going to have some fun with it, with this amazing new technology right here this morning. I'm joined by ABC News contributor and People Now's Royals correspondent, Imogen Lloyd Webber. Imogen, thank you for taking the time to join us. You know, we're going to take a look over here at Windsor Castle. There it is. And through the magic of, of augmented reality, we're bringing its carriage right into our studio. Let's take a step back while it rolls in. And Imogen, tell us a little bit about this beautiful carriage. Yeah, this is a 1902 state Landau. It is one of the fleet of carriages that is used for official and ceremonial state events, such as coronations, royal weddings, and state visits. But folks may recognize this carriage. Come on over. They may recognize this carriage because Thank this you. carriage is pretty high profile, right? Yeah, William and Kate rode in it after their service. And 30 years before that, William's parents, Charles and Diana, rode in it for their wedding. Really? Well, yeah. before we before we send this carriage back to London, tell us about the ride that the royal newlyweds are going to take. Yeah, after the wedding ceremony, as the couple step into their carriage, close family members will gather on the west steps to wave them off on their procession. They'll go through Windsor Town, returning to Windsor Castle along the long walk. It's scheduled to take just under 25 minutes. That's not. That's mm. kind of quick. A little bit faster than I thought it was going to take. Now it's time. We're going to send this carriage back off to London. But Imogen, Harry and Meghan, they're going to ride in a different model. Yeah, Harry and Meghan will be riding in a very similar carriage. Carriage, the Ascot Landau. Oh, I like that name. Yeah. Well, can you know, come over here? Thank We're going to talk about something else because that's going to be a nice carriage there in. But someone else, someone else who's going to be there, the Royal Guard, their tradition of yeah. the Queen. Yeah. You know, I'm a little jealous. I want one of those hats. But how heavy are they? I got to make sure really I can handle heavy. it. Those bearskin hats stand about a foot and a half tall and are said to weigh around one and a half pounds. They can get quite hot, and sometimes the guards have been known to pass out. The it passed out? Yeah, yeah. I'll go on YouTube, try to find that. But you know what? Now's the time for something that everybody's been trying to wondering yeah. about. It is time to bring the bling, everybody. Oh. Yeah. Excited about this. I'm excited yeah, yeah. about the you bling. Be. There's been a lot of speculation mm -hmm. about Megan's bridal tiara. Yeah, generally the tiara is not announced before the wedding. Like the dress, it's one of the big things revealed on wedding day. Mm. The queen will usually loan a royal family tiara to the bride or commission a new one. But there was one exception, right? Princess Diana and her tiara. Oh, so good. That's right. This is the Spencer tiara, and it is such a throwback. It was worn by Princess Diana when she married Prince Charles in 1981. Her sisters also wore it at their weddings, Lady Jane Spencer in 1978 and Lara Sarah Spencer in 1980. The tiara was made by Garrards, a famous London jeweler in the 1930s, and was created from separate pieces of jewellery that were already family heirlooms. Mm. The ends of the tiara are believed to have come from one owned by the last Viscountess of Montague in the late 1700s. Definitely a fairly family heirloom. Absolutely. Late 1700s. Mm. But do royal watchers think Meghan will wear the Spencer tiara as a tribute to Princess Diana. It's certainly possible. We know how important it is to Prince Harry that Diana be included mm -hmm. in his big day, and her sister, Lady Jane, Baroness Fellows, will be doing a reading. That's going to be really nice. Yeah. And, and now to another very famous tiara, the one that Kate wore when she married William. You're talking about the Cartier Halo scroll tiara. It actually will be on display in Australia, so we know Meghan will be not be wearing it. The stunning tiara features 888 diamonds, 739 brilliant cut, and 149 baguette cut diamonds. Kate looks so beautiful in this one during the wedding in 2011. Queen Elizabeth actually received it as a gift from her mother, but she was rarely seen wearing it. She loaned it out to other royals, including her sister, Princess Margaret, and daughter, Princess Anne, who wore it at different occasions for decades. And she definitely looked beautiful wearing that tiara. Absolutely and that, that's really, gorgeous. wow. How many, how many royal tiaras are there? Do we know? There are a lot in the collection. No, it's sort of unknown, really, I think. It's yeah. an unknown number. Does Meghan have a tiara, have to wear a tiara? While there are rumors Meghan may not wear one, she probably will. But I'm sure she will look mm. beautiful no matter what. Now, we are keeping the jewels. We're not giving those to you, but we are going to give you something. We're going to give you the VR, the AR. We're going to want you to bring those carriages and those world guards into your home. Or how you can do it, just download the ABC News app and open the AR experience. That's right, the directions are simple, and we can show you how to have your own royal carriage in your driveway. Doesn't matter what the neighbors think. Or you can have royal guards guarding your kitchen table. Make sure your kids eat their dinner. We want to make sure you see your, your photos with them. So make sure you hashtag Royal Wedding AR in your social media post so we can have a chance to check it out for ourselves. Imogen. Good to see you. Lloyd Weber. Thank you for all your royal knowledge. We really appreciate that. And thank you guys.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.